it's time for me to make my predictions for WrestleMania. And I will start off with the pre-show match between Ray Barrett versus The Miz for the Intercontinental Championship. Honestly, if there was a match that should be on the pre-show, I say it's tons of funks and the uh, Funkadactyls versus Team Roll Scholars and the Bella Twins. Miz and Barrett sounds like it's worthy of a spot on the actual show. I'm sorry, tons of funk, Funkadactyls, Roll Scholars, and the returning Bella Twins. Uh, y'all should be on the pre-show. Miz and Barrett should be on the actual show. That's just my opinion on that. As for the match itself, you know, Miz has won every single championship except for the world title. And Miz has been a change man since uh, he lost the Intercontinental title to Kofi Kingston. So on that title that that he lost led to him being the babyface. It would be interesting if he was a champion again. And I met the Miz in person. Very good guy. I'm sorry, Miz. But I'm going with the Barrett Barrage on this one. Ray Barrett is my pick to win the pre-show match to retain the Intercontinental title. Tons of Funks. Tensai and Brodus Clay teaming up with Naomi and Kanwan. Going up against Team Roll Scholars and the Bella Twins. So check this out. Let's see. Six of the eight wrestlers. Let's see. Clay, Cameron, Naomi, Sandown. Yeah, I got that right. Six of the eight wrestlers in this mixed tag team match will be making their WrestleMania in ring debut. I'm going to go with Team Roll Scholars and the Bella Twins. I say that Cameron and especially Naomi will shine. Uh, Bella Twins, they'll be eye candy, of course. But in the end, Roll Scholars will get the job done. Bella Twins will pick up the pieces, I guess. And Roll Scholars and the Bellas will pick up the win. And let's get to Chris Jericho versus Fon Dongo. Another guy making his WrestleMania in ring debut. NXT Season 4 winner. Romeo, who I talked to early on the show, said that it's going to be the match of the show. It's going to be the match. It's going to be the match he's looking forward to. You know, I want to. It will. As for the possible upset, I think Fondango's going to give it all he got. But in, the, but in the end, experience matters. I'm going Y2J. Maybe Chris Jericho will show why he deserved a far better match than Fondango. So I'm going to go with that. Another WrestleMania debut comes with Biggie Langston. Teaming up with Dolph Ziggler to take on Team Hell No. Of course, AJ will be in the wing side supporting Dolph Ziggler. Everybody wants to talk about Cena redemption. You know. Will this match even make it past 18 seconds after what happened with Daniel Bryan last year? Absolutely. As for who I think is going to win... Team Hell No has held their backs against the walls in the past, but finds a way to get the job done. Biggie Langston, maybe the spotlight's going to be a little too big for him. He'll have his moments, but I'm going to say Team Hell No will get the win, and Daniel Bryan will have some sort of retribution. So I'm going to go with Team Hell No to beat Ziggler and Biggie. Wideback takes on Mark Henry. Another wrestler making his debut at WrestleMania in wing debut. This has power, smash mouth, and, you know, it's got power winning all over between the two. 
Let's get this out the way. No way in hell is right back limping Mark Henry for the share of shock. So, if Ryback is going to try to outpower him, he's not going to win this match. You're talking about a 17-year veteran and Mark Henry. You know, he said at the press conference, I'm born in Texas, but I currently live in Harlem, New York. I'm not going to be made of a fool. You know what? I want to believe you, Mark, but I don't believe you enough. I'm going with Mr. Feed Me More himself right back to pull off the victory. Now on to Randy Orton, Sheamus, and the Big Show taking on the Shield. Another, a trio of WrestleMania debuts. D-Man Bros, Seth Rollins, and Roman Reigns. They've been undefeated as a unit. Since TLC, they made their in ring debut at TLC. Uh, I believe they defeated Team Hell No and Ryback. Elimination Chamber, they defeated Cena, Ryback, and Sheamus. And now they go up against Wendy Orton, Sheamus, and Big Show. They've had their differences towards each other, mostly Sheamus and Big Show after the rivalry they had. For the World Heavyweight title. After thinking this through. First times for everything. I'm going to go with Orton. Sheamus and Show To pick up the victory. Now. Dario versus Swagger for the World Heavyweight title. Well, are people surprised that Jack Swagger still have a match at WrestleMania after over a month ago he gets arrested for DUI and uh, possession of marijuana? He didn't get suspended. He may have got reprimanded, but we don't know exactly what that was. Maybe a warning, like, don't do this again. Hell, the dude probably didn't even get drug tested after, after what happened. So, but Swagger is here. And he's going to get his opportunity. Remember, Swagger won money in the bank a few years ago at WrestleMania. And uh, this is Swagger's chance to show that, that WWE made the right move by giving him this type of match. You know, Alberto Del Rio, this is something that's going to be holding near and dear to him because, as he pointed out, this is the first time that a Mexican going into WrestleMania as a champion and defending it on the grandest stage of them all. Thinking this through, Swagger won an Elimination Chamber to earn this opportunity, by the way, back in uh, February, I believe. This is a toss-up. I'm going to go with I'm going to go with uh, Dare Wheel. I'm going to go with Dare Wheel. And I say mainly because I guess I guess this is WWE's way of saying you got to wonder if Sw if Swagger didn't get busted, he probably would have been the new champion. But because he got busted, he's not going to win the title. He's going to give it all he got, but he's not going to win the gold. Triple H versus Brock Lesnar. And they know who's bar match. If Lesnar wins, Triple H must retire. Now we all know Ric Flair and Shawn Michaels, their careers have ended at WrestleMania. Well, for Ric Flair's case, his WWE career, wrestling career ended. Brock Lesnar, this will be his first WrestleMania match. Since WrestleMania 20, when he faced uh, Goldberg, he faced Goldberg and Steve Austin was the special guest referee. <sighs> thinking this through, thinking this through here, 
Trace. To me, he, his last match should have been WrestleMania last year. Like, yeah, you lost the match, but it was a great match overall. I know people want to win at all costs. Now, not only Brock Lesnar has a chance to broke your arm again, but now he has a chance to end your career all put together, and Shawn Michaels will be at ringside. Could Shawn Michaels be the factor of causing his BFF, his career? I won't be surprised if Shawn Michaels accidentally super kick Triple H. It's too much at stake. Triple H's livelihood. Regardless, he's win or lose, Triple H is a future WWE Hall of Famer. Brock Lesnar did defeat Triple H at SummerSlam August of last year. But who I pick gonna win this match? I'm going to go with, I say history will repeat itself. Brock Lesnar will beat the game, and the game will be over. His wrestling career will be over. It's tough for me to say this, but Triple H hasn't really been a full-time wrestler for the last several years, so he's... Behind the scenes, dude, now. And, yeah. I guess Triple H wanted one more last hoorah. So, he's going to get it. Okay. Undertaker versus CM Punk. Now, let me give you a story behind all this, if I can. And here's the story. CM Punk was interviewed... In San Diego Comic Con. He was asked. If he would like to have a match. With The Undertaker. CM Punk said no. He said. It's too predictable. He wants suspense. And so forth. Hey I don't blame him. For feeling that way. But he said it. He put it out there. And now, could those words translate into this Sunday night? This dude just had the sixth longest reign in the history of the WWE title. And it ended by The Rock. He beating others. He's beating Cena. He's beating Brian. Kane, Jericho, Ziggler, list goes on and on. On oh, their wheel, he beat their wheel to start that reign, but he couldn't beat The Rock. Twice. He lost to The Rock twice. But I'm sure CM Punk fans will have a different opinion towards that. Oh, and speaking of CM Punk, he's not going to be coming out alone. And no, I'm not just talking about Paul Heyman. Rock band Living Color, you may know them for their hit song, Cult and Personality. Well, they're going to bring some personality into WrestleMania as they'll be performing that song as CM Punk makes his entrance. Will the streak continue at 21? Or will CM Punk become the one? As in 21. CM Punk. You may be the best in the world. But the Undertaker is the best. On the grandest stage. And I believe the streak. Will continue. 21 and 0. And counting. Undertaker defeats. CM Punk. Now. Main event. Cena versus Rock Part 2. Legacy versus Redemption. Everybody and their mama knew that Rock was going to beat Cena last year. In his hometown of Miami, got the hometown, home crowd treatment. Cena gets mixed reactions regardless of where he goes. And you're not going to get a 
more intense mixed reaction than New Jersey and New York area. Whereas the WrestleMania this year is going to be in New Jersey, but you get the idea. Cena has gone through a lot. And they and when you see the montage that they've been showing for weeks now, they've shown Cena been through divorce. Well, one of Cena's brothers well, um, has been battling cancer. You know, wrestlers have always have that rough year, a rough match, a rough moment. Cena had a rough 2012, and yet fans still voted him for Superstar of the Year. Now, it's a popularity contest, I know, but CM Punk fans should not be all that mad. He had a chance to vote for the dude, and because what he did to the Rock at Wall 1000, he didn't vote for the guy. Or, better yet, you didn't get him enough votes. The Rock... He's got the number one movie of the country, and he's the WWE champion. How many wrestlers can say they have the number one out movie in the country, and the number one and the w, and the biggest prize in all WWE at the same damn time? I think The Rock is the first. The Rock has not lost a match since WrestleMania 20, teaming up with Mick Foley. And he lost to three-fourths of Evolution. He lost to Batista, Ric Flair, and a fellow third-generation wrestler by the name of Randy Orton. Rock, you've had a good one. You've given WWE more publicity. I guess that was the point of you coming back. Or keep coming back and trying to get more buzz into your Hollywood career. But damn it, I'm going with C Nation. Walk's time is up and Cena's time is now. You might as well call John Cena a fellow Boston legend and Bill Russell. Bill Russell has 11 championships. And after this Sunday night, John Cena, a record 11-time WWE Champion. I'm picking Cena to fulfill his redemption. And those are my predictions for WrestleMania 29. 